guys welcome to my channel if you guys want to see my first impressions not only first impressions okay but honest review and opinion on the lori harvey skincare line skin by lori harvey then keep watching this video All right guys, so we're reviewing the Lori Harvey Skincare Skin by Lori Harvey. This is the packaging, how it comes in. It reminds me of just like this super fresh beach, just very clean um, brand and aesthetic wise. And I absolutely love the packaging and I knew she was gonna put some effort into her product because nowadays people just, you know, buy things with your name on it. Yeah, she most definitely put some effort into this skincare. It has weight to it as far as the packaging. And this is my first time trying it. So let's jump right into face wash because I just damped my face. And we are going to be using the Goji Berry Cleanser, which this is step number one. So it has a pump on it. So that is nice. I like when my skincare has a pump because it's more controlled. So this is step one, Goji Berry Cleanser. I guess it's a gel cleanser. The Goji Berry Cleanser, it's gentle for all skin types, active ingredients, wash away, impurities, makeup, and excess oils and sebum, and it's also sulfate free. Goji Berry hydrates the skin, also enhances the skin barrier, which you know strengthens the skin, we love that, and it also improves your skin tone, and I believe Goji Berry comes from Asia. I'm gonna push my hair back, guys. So one thing I can say about the cleanser so far is that it most definitely is very gentle on the skin. The smell is like a clean smell. It's nothing fragrancy, which is I cannot use a lot of fragrance on my skin. Like I don't even like it in my makeup. It's very gentle. It's very soft, very soft on the skin. But to be taking a towel, this towel has, it's warm. Best towel ever. Um, I'm brand is this? I believe it's is it Turkish cotton towel. It's 100% Turkish cotton. These towels are really soft and I find them very gentle on the skin. Let's use the cleanser. My skin feels soft. It doesn't feel tight. You know, you use a cleanser and you can feel real tight. Like, but I just take off my skin. It also doesn't dry your skin out. Okay, my skin feels a little. Sticky, maybe, maybe I need to do like another wash. Some of the ingredients is here is of course water, glycerin, citrus, tangerine, peel oil, fruit extract, green tea, leaf extract, sunflower seed oil. Maybe that's why it doesn't really feel dry on my skin. Those are just some of the ingredients on the, on the back of the box. Um, they are listed on her website as well. Cruelty free and vegan as well. No synthetic fragrances, no synthetic dyes or coloring, no silicones, no sulfate, and no parabens. Okay, Lori. White tea toner. Step two, which is the white tea toner. Me working in cosmetics um, sales and just cosmetics in general, a lot of the lines that I've worked for, they most definitely have skincare. And we would use the toner to number one, of course, tone to purify and to wash away any of the residue. So I'm gonna be using her toner. This is her white tea toner. Same packaging as, love this packaging. I'll be taking the Shiseido cotton pads. They are my absolute favorite. You can get them from Macy's, Nordstrom, your girl Sephora, from everywhere, but these are my favorite. They're the most soft. They don't leave the little cotton swab dot, da -da 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 -da. white tea toner. It hydrates, tones the skin, moisturizes, clarifies. White tea also strengthens both collagen and elastin and it gives smoother skin. Some of the ingredients that is in the white tea toner, water, glycerin, you have glycerin again, watermelon fruit extract, fruit extract, aloe, oh that's great white tea leaf extract. I love how the toner has a spray bottle. Toner is more of a liquidy, some of them can be thick, but this makes it less messy. I like to take a few swabs on my hand to spray your face. So this is smart. 
I use a lot of product, y'all. Definitely for sensitive skin. Whenever you use your toner, look on your cotton pad and you can see all the residue that the toner has removed. We're gonna go in for step three, which is my vitamin C serum. I did not purchase the serum. Number one, sold out. And also number two, I'm not a big serum girl. Maybe if I really love this skincare down the line, I'll purchase the serum. I know it's a vitamin C serum. Serums can be really great for your skin, especially if you're dry. The serum penetrates deeper into the skin and the moisturizer helps pushes it in. I love how she has it step by step. So it's kind of easy for someone who's just starting into skincare because skincare can be overwhelming, overwhelming, okay? I'm gonna go into step four, which is my peptide eye complex. This is the peptide eye complex. I'm a sucker for a luxe eye cream. This melts into the skin under the delicate eye skin. It has a bio complex made up of peptides. The ingredients in her eye cream would be shea butter. That's one of them, we love shea butter, shea butter baby, okay? Natural ingredients in her products. I love that water, glycerin, pro-vitamin B5, algae extract. Okay, come on. So just like a lot of natural ingredients. I love that it has, I don't know if you guys, can you guys see? It has this metal piece on there. The metal pieces are usually pretty cooling. You can also put it in the fridge if you want, but also that cooling effect on any kind of eye cream or concealer, it helps with puffiness. Oh yeah, this feels so good. Gentle. Your under eye skin is very, very sensitive. So you always want something gentle whenever you're using anything under here. And that goes for like makeup, eyeliners, etc. That feels really good underneath my eyes. It most definitely, it also gives you some radiance too. It looks really good. Now, for what I've been waiting for. Moisturizer. So I love how she added a little applicator with the moisturizer. You typically get these with the luxurious wand, you know, maybe like a luxurious Chanel or Dior cream. So come on, sis. Simma, Nia, Simma. The Nia, 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 Simma. This is the Niacinamide Cream. It's a step five, your last step. And come on, girl, with the names, okay? <laughs> so again, with the packaging, come on, Miss Lori. This packaging is so beautiful. It has weight to it. I love it. Get this little, pull that off of there. And boom. Love a moisturizer. I feel like we can all use a great moisturizer. Lux moisturizer, it hydrates and firms and also radiates. So you know I live for radiance in a moisturizer. When a moisturizer has a lot of radiance in it, most definitely looks good under your makeup. It just helps the makeup blend. Her website, the description is, this Lux Cream Moisturizer hydrates skin while promoting a firmer and more radiant appearance. Vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is going to lock in the moisture. Helps promote a radiant complexion while moisturizing your skin. We love radiance. Radiance to me screams youthful. Apply to clean skin and massage gently, gently with the fingertips. Let's read some of her ingredients off the back of the box here. So we have water, hyaluronic acid, of course. Fruit extract, oh, I love it. Castor seed oil, citrus lemon peel oil. It's natural ingredients that. So I'm gonna just take my little applicator here. I like to use a lot of moisturizer. They be like, oh, you don't need that much. Well, I do. I'm gonna just put some on the hand here. But you need a little. Oh, this smells good. Feels good too. It's really luxe, very creamy. It's not thick. It's like, it's not thick, but it's not thin. It's like the perfect medium. Perfect medium. Oh, this is, this is really great, especially for dry skin. I'm a dry skin, dry to normal, and I'm sensitive. This feels good. Oh, this feels good. Oh, look at my skin. Do y'all see the radiance? So it really does give radiance. She didn't lie. The box didn't lie. <laughs> feels really good on the skin. Super hydrating, and it does feel like a luxe cream. I remember working at Nordstrom. It kind of feels like that lighter version of La Mer cream. Feels really luxe. It smells good. 
It's not like a fragrant scent and I am in love. Look at this radiance. Look at my skin. It's a close up. Time for my test. I love prepping my skin before my makeup. And my skincare is crucial before my makeup. And if I'm buying skincare, it has to look good under my makeup. So I'm gonna throw some makeup on. I wanna do some light makeup. I'm doing light makeup because the everyday woman, a lot of the times the everyday woman most likely likes light makeup. They like to be on the go, you know, on the weekend. You know, they get they get saucy with the makeup, okay? I'm going to be using the Fenty Ease Drop. Use the number 19. I always give this a nice good shake a take okay light quick makeup application period going for a skin like application the cover effects concealer this is like my one of my favorite concealers in g deep two So just very, very light coverage, which you can still see imperfections, which I'm okay with that. That's what I'm going for. OG, this is Max Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen and Bright Forecast. Just a little bit of brightening because we just want to look a little awake today. This is really bright, by the way. So just use very little. How are we looking? Laura Mercier number two brightening powder. This is my skin like setting powder. Her eye cream has that metal piece on it and how it has also the barrier in it. So I love that. This is just our little makeup test because you, you want your skincare to feel and look good under your makeup. And so far, it feels good. It feels good. Sometimes we're not going to contour. We're going to just take the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer in number four. This is her airbrush bronzer. Use it all the time. I'm just going to bronze our skin. Give our skin some color. No highlighter today. We're just simply going for this skin look. We have that applied. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little shadow. Matter of fact, I don't want to do anything on the eyes. I don't think I do. Brush. I want to just take my bronzer and throw it on my eye here. Give it a little bit of shadow. Very slightly, you know. I just do a little bit of my eyebrows on camera for you guys. My eyebrows are not done, so it's very hard for me to do my eyebrows, but I'm gonna show y'all how I do them. The Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift in Naomi, which is black brown now. I'm gonna just take this, it has a slanted tip on it. I like to pull up my, my skin. Stretch out my eyebrow skin like that. And just slightly trace it. We're going for a more natural brow today, so we're not going to fill them in too much. Always just fluff them out. Those hairs. Now we're gonna clean it up of that Cover FX concealer. Drop it on the back of my hand. Just wanna clean up a little bit. Yeah, I would do my brows first, but we didn't do that today. And you wanna use the concealer closer to your skin tone or doing your natural skin-like looks versus the lighter under eye that we do with more of a glam makeup look. Nice to use a brush it has like a really precise end on it. How the brow, that's how the brow is looking. The brow's looking. Since we're going for natural, kind of like, you know, natural Lori Harvey look, I guess. I did the Patrick Ta Rich Brown Precision Gel Eyeliner. 
I also applied some of my Chanel mascara and I applied a Lily Lash in this style Brooklyn. Let's get into these lips. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Nude in tint number three. Take a max lipstick. I don't know if I'm gonna use the Teddy. Persistence. Persistence. Persistence is a nice neutral color. I don't know what color this is. It's not naturally transformed. I think this is sis. I could be wrong, but I think it's sis gloss because I just feel like my lips look I just look, you know, so washed out. Okay, 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 okay. So that concludes this video, but let me review this for you guys. So one of my favorite products in this line, in her collection, is her moisturizer. It's a nice, luxe, rich, but not too thick cream, and it really gives your skin like a boost of moisture, also gives you radiance, and I'm here for all the clean products. Secondly, I love, love, love the eye cream. As you guys can tell, I love anything that gives you radiance, that gives you hydration. It has the cooling tip on it. Not messy because it comes in a tube, so it's really easy to use. White tea toner is okay. It's okay. It's cool. Like, I don't have anything bad to say about it. To me, it's just like a regular toner. Um, I most definitely like it. I probably have to use like all of it together to just see the, the results. I also love the Goji Berry Cleanser. I do love it and I love how it has a pump. All for less mess, no messiness. But, but, I do wish it was a little bit more hydrating. Not saying that it's drying, but for my preference, I wish that it was a little bit more on the hydrating side. This cleanser is very gentle, so I can tell she most definitely made this for sensitive skin. I love it. How do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think of it? I think it looks great under makeup. My skin feels amazing. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel oily. Even though that moisturizer is super hydrating, it feels lightweight and it looks good under my makeup. And this is like a light application. You know, you can still see my imperfections. I'm going to be using it under my makeup more frequent so i can really get a feel for the skincare because this is just like a first impressions you know skincare i feel like you have to use it for a couple of weeks to a couple of months to really feel it and really feel what it's doing for your skin but so far i love it i can tell that she actually put effort into this and she did not just smack her name on a wholesale label she did not just smack her name on like a wholesale label i can tell that she really took the time and the effort with the packaging um the ingredients it's overall really great the serum has to be great too since all the rest of the products are really good for shipping i placed my order on october the 22nd I received it October the 30th. It's launched and she did sell out of all of her things, so congratulations to her. Overall, I'm happy with everything that I've got. I'll be making a mini TikTok video, so stay tuned for that or follow me over there. I'll be posted on Instagram and TikTok and I gave it a 9 out of 10. only reason I gave it a 9 out of 10 is because for my preference, I would have liked for Goji Berry cleanser to be a little bit more on the hydrating side but that's just my personal preference but overall she did her thing packaging is nice this box here so even if just from the cardboard boxing i really appreciate the effort she put into all of this that concludes this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye